This segment is sponsored by the Springfield Clinic. In the studio today, we have Dr. Adele Woodson from the Springfield Clinic. We're talking about the shingles. Doc, thank you so much for being here, thank first you. of all. Thank you for it's having me. It's really here. nice having you. Uh, we're going to talk about the shingles. Really, what is it? You know, we kind of hear the shingles and chicken pox kind of intertwine. Right. Talk about it. Right, absolutely. Yeah. So, chicken pox causes shingles. What happens is if a person is ever infected with chicken pox, they can reactivate later in life as shingles. Mm. What happens is it can be a very painful rash that develops in one area of the body. It is not um, something that can be necessarily prevented unless there is a vaccination for the shingles after mm -hmm. you've had chicken pox. Gotcha. So you can have that in, the, in your adult life, this vaccine to absolutely, prevent Absolutely, absolutely. Okay. In 2017, there was a new shingles vaccination, Shingrix. Okay. 90% effective in preventing shingles. Prior to 2017, the old shingles vaccination was about 50% effective. Okay. But the new vaccination, 90% effective in preventing an outbreak of shingles. Oh, that's awesome. So talk yeah. a little bit about um, men versus women. What um, kind of person is likely to get it more than the other? Is there a such There's thing as that? No such thing as that. Mm. Absolutely not. Okay. In fact, men and women are equally chances of getting mm -hmm. the shingles outbreak. Yeah. It depends on age. As we get older, our immune system weakens and we're more prone to developing the shingles rash. Gotcha. How can somebody prevent it besides the vaccine? I mean, is there anything to do in your day to day? You know, besides staying healthy, mm -hmm. so exercising, making sure that you are eating a healthy diet, maintaining a good weight, not smoking, that will help to keep the immune system healthy and hopefully prevent the outbreak. As far as um, the vaccine goes back to that, what age yeah. is recommended to get it? Age 50 and over. So oh. anyone age 50 and older can get the vaccination. Even if you've already had the previous shingles vaccination, you can still get the new and improved Shingrix vaccination. Gotcha, gotcha. How common is the shingles? I mean, should any um, average American worry about it? Absolutely, good question. You know, it's about one in three people mm. will break out with shingles in their lifetime if they've had chicken pox. The problem with shingles is that not only is it a painful rash, but it can also develop symptoms afterwards. So in other words, if a person has an outbreak on their eyes or in their ears, they can develop nerve damage from mm -hmm. that. Um, if they also break out with something called post-herpetic neuralgia, which is after the rash is cleared, they still have the nerve damage from the rash. Mm. Of course, medicine is all about prevention as possible, and that's why we promote the vaccination. Awesome. Go see Dr. Woodson if you have any, um, I guess, concerns about the chicken pox or shingles. You're Absolutely. always accepting people. Always accepting new patients. Would love to answer any questions. Okay. Dr. Woodson, thank you so much. Appreciate thank you. It.